Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin. In today's video I'm going to share with you how to make a musical Christmas carousel using what you have on hand. About a year ago I made a carousel night light out of a wooden box. I filmed it on a rotating cake stand and I got many comments about how nice it would look if it could actually rotate. I thought this idea over for a long time. First I wanted to use a toy spinner, but it wouldn't work itself. So I went searching for a music box mechanism which would have a rotating shaft and I found one. I wasn't sure it would work for my idea, but I decided to try. For making the base I'll use two wooden plates from Dollar Tree. You can use any plates or wooden circles or cardboard circles here. And I'm outlining the middle of each plate and attaching a little plastic yogurt bottle here to make the main post of the carousel. I'm adding four wooden skewers for extra supports. The plates I'm using have plenty of holes and I'm hot gluing these skewers into these holes. And I'm making casts out of self-hardening clay for decorating the plates edges and the junctions of the yogurt bottle with the plates. After that I had to sit and wait till the music box mechanism arrived and here it is. It plays music and has a little rotating part on top for attaching the ballerina figurine or something like this, but I'll try to attach the whole carousel here. So I'm unscrewing the top little plate and attaching it to the very center of the bottom of the carousel. It's really important to attach it to the very center or the carousel will not rotate properly. I'm screwing the mechanism back on and let's try it out. Well, it works so far. Now I need to make a base for the carousel to hide the mechanism. For this I'm cutting several circles out of cardboard to get the base thick enough. I've just outlined the plates to get the same size here. I'm also cutting out the center parts from most of the cardboard circles to be able to place the musical mechanism here. In total I've made two circles and two rings out of the cardboard for the base to be really sturdy. And I'm also making another ring out of thick corrugated cardboard for the base to be thick enough to cover the mechanism and to look nice. After all the parts are ready, I'm gluing all the circles together using white glue. Well, actually I've used wood glue, it works about the same. And as you can see, the thick ring consists of several parts, as I didn't have a piece big enough for making it, but this will not be visible when finished. And you want to place something heavy on top to be sure the whole construction will not deform while drying. As you can see, in the very end I've added a couple more cardboard layers for extra thickness and I've also made the holes in them to be able to thread the winding key through. Once dry, you may also want to soak the cardboard with white glue again to make the cardboard more firm. As the wooden plates I've used for the carousel have many holes and the bottom part will be visible when looking through the plate, so I want to make it more nice looking. I'm cutting little pieces from a toilet paper roll and hot gluing them to the inner circle to hide the corrugated cardboard here and to make the edge look nice and smooth. And then I'm painting the whole thing black, any dark color will do here. Before attaching the bottom to the musical mechanism I've decided to use cold welding glue. 
It is supposed to be screwed on, but I'm afraid the screws will not hold well inside the cardboard. Be careful here, if cold welding gets into the mechanism, it will not work anymore, so you want to be really diligent here. I'm covering the base of the mechanism with glue and placing the bottom part on top. Here you want to be sure the bottom sits right under the main carousel body and the winding key goes right into the hole way which is supposed for it. I waited for about half an hour to be sure the glue has hardened and now I'll see how it works. Well, it works, but the main body is inclined a little and this makes the carousel stop each time it gets here. I had to tear off the bottom and reattach it properly for the top part to sit straight, so be really diligent about the top part position here. Next, I'll make a roof. I'm cutting six veg parts as well as several two inch wide strips out of thin cardboard. Then I'm running each wedge part over the table edge to make them curvy. And I'm connecting all the wedge parts together using paper scraps and hot glue. After the roof is assembled, I'm adding more paper scraps on the inside and soaking the whole thing with white glue to make it more rigid when dry. And finally I'm attaching the roof to the main carousel body and fixing it with stationary clips till dry. Your actually best is to attach the lights right before you install the roof. I didn't think of this and had to spend more time threading fairy lights through the roof holes. It would be way easier to do before installing the roof. And I'm also hot gluing cardboard strips to cover the bottom part outer edge. To decorate the bottom part, I've also decided to make a cast with leaves and berries. I'm making it out of self-hardening clay as usual and I'm repositioning the ready-made cast into the beginning of the mold to make a strip of the desired length. And I'm attaching the cast to the carousel using white glue. I'm also smearing the roof with white glue to make the cardboard more firm. While it dries, I'll prepare more embellishments. I don't want to use more cast embellishments on the main body as they'll make it heavier, so I've decided to use pipe cleaners here. I'm painting the pipe cleaners dark green to make them look like fur garlands. I've used this technique when I decorated the tiny houses and loved it a lot. They are super cheap and easy to make and at the same time they look very realistic. After everything has dried, I'll finally paint the carousel. First I'm painting the whole thing cream, I'm using chalk paint to be able to paint the plastic bottle without a primer, although paint holds better when primed, so if you have a primer on hand, I definitely recommend using it here. Next I'm painting three sections of the carousel red. Here I've tried to make it look aged, so after applying the first layer I'm also painting the edges in a darker color and then blending the middle part with a lighter shade. I'm also painting the cast leaves on the bottom part dark green. and I'm making the berries bright red. To make 
the seams on the roof look more neat. I'm making brown pearls using pearl paint. And I'm also painting little branches along all the seams using an outliner paint. By the way, this is the exact paint I made about a year ago when filming the video about homemade crafting recipes. As you can see, it stores really well and is still usable. We'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. And I'm adding the same branch pattern along the upper plate edge. I want to make the central post of the carousel striped, so I've cut painter's tape into thin strips and I'm attaching them to the post, making a curved stripe pattern. And after the painter's tape is in place, I'm painting the post red. After it's dry, I'm removing the tape. Here I was a little bit impatient and attached the tape too early. The white paint hasn't dried properly, so some of the white paint has come off with the tape when removing it and I have to fix this with a thin brush. Next I'm painting the cast embellishments brown. And finally I'm attaching the painted pipe cleaners. I'm wrapping the central post as well as the outer supports with them. And I'm also making small festoons to sit right below the roof. I'm using pipe cleaners with thicker fur here, they make nice and thick festoons. To make the carousel you will need horses, of course. Mine were 3D printed, but you can use any little toy horses for this purpose, just as I did for my previous carousel project. I'll link possible options below as usual. So, first I'm drilling the horses through and inserting the wooden skewers into them to make the supports that will hold the horses. I'm gluing the skewers into the horses using super glue. And then I'm painting all the horses cream. To make the saddles for the horses, I'm cutting pieces of lace of appropriate size, making them a wall and then I'm painting all the saddles browns. Paint makes the lace more rigid, so I'm bending the pieces right away. I'm also painting the hooves browns. And I'm attaching the finished saddles using white glue. To finish the look I'm cutting tiny pieces of red decorative trim and hot gluing them onto the horse figurines. The trim I have is too wide, so I'm cutting it in half along the pattern first. I'm painting the harness with a bronze outliner, here I've used a ready-made one as I ran out of the homemade outliner already. And since the horses I've got have quite sparse manes and tails, I'm hot gluing some fibers over them. You want to arrange the fibers with your fingers till they look like real manes and tails, and you can also use a hair spray to fix the opposition and even shape them a little.
Before attaching the horses, I'll decorate the fur garlands using golden seed beads. This is way easier to do while the horses are still not there. I'm hot gluing the beads all over the fur embellishments. Here you may want to use more colors or bigger beads, but I've decided to stick to one type of the beads. I also want to decorate the bottom of the carousel. I'm drawing the branch pattern with an outliner along the edges, as I did for the roof. And I'm also hot gluing white trim along the edges to make it look more intricate. Well, and here is when I realized I should have inserted the fairy lights into the roof earlier. Since I didn't do that, I have to thread the fairy lights through all the holes in the plate. It took more time than it would have if I did this before attaching the roof. Don't be like me. <laughs> I've used little fairy lights here with small and flat battery packs to be able to hide them under the roof. And as they are quite short, I've used three fairy lights like this to make the roof really sparkle. Last, I can attach the horses. I'm hand gluing the skewers with the horses in between the supports. And I'm also hand gluing a little wooden ball onto the very top and painting it bronze to finish the roof look. After some thought, I've also decided to paint all the bottom part bronze and to add some bronze paint over the trim as well. And finally, I'm making tiny bows in red and green and I'm decorating the carousel roof and the button and the horse tails with these bows. Well, and here is how it turned out. happy with how it looks so Christmassy and bright and it rotates just as I wanted it to. You can decorate the carousel to your liking and use the colors that go well with your overall Christmas decor. I've used the traditional colors but it would look as cute made in pastel colors or all white or black and white and you can also replace the horses with tiny reindeers and Santa's sleighs. The possibilities are so many. I hope you liked today's project. I also want to remind you that I have another video on how to make a Christmas carousel night light. I'll link this video down below. Thanks for being here and we'll see you in my next one. Bye!